you picked fish tracking, which means hop on board because we are chasing sharks. Kinda. A little bit. Okay, not really at all, but the tech we're about to learn about is used in sharks to help us learn more about their behavior, their environments, and, and how to help with their survival. So, I mean, that's cool. And it starts with the production of acoustic fish tags at a place like Innovacy. So, come on, let me show you. Let me show you how we can save the sharks. Or the dolphins. Or the tuna fishes. Really, whatever ocean thing it takes to convince you to come with me. Let's go. Any fish. Any time. Anywhere. Innova Sea! Alright, let's go. Hey Chris! Welcome to Innova Sea! You want to see what we do here, don't ya? Yeah, you already know. Let's do it. <laughs> Come on! Hi. My name is Sarah Stoke Grandy, and I'm an electrical engineer here at Anobasi. Fish tracking is literally what it sounds like. It's tracking fish. And this is done by researchers who are very interested in studying aquatic animals and how they behave underwater. At Anobasi, we help the researchers do their work by providing them with the gear they need. And that gear is fish tags and receivers. The fish tags make acoustic sounds, little pings in the water. They go ping, ping, ping. And these tags get implanted into the fish surgically. The receivers listen for those pings. They record the pings and they store the data. When the study is done, the researchers pull the receivers back up, offload the data, and then start their study. All right, Sarah, so what do we got here, aside from like ev everything? This is the making of an electrical design. We start with a concept or an idea. The, wait, that's just, that's an idea? That's yep. one idea? That's one idea. Got Somebody it. had a, an idea for a tiny fish tag and they drew it up. And that's where it begins. Then the electrical engineers in my group yeah. start doing designs on the computer for what will eventually become the brain of the tag. So all of this ends with the final tiny tag. All right, so where are we going next to do it? We're going to the tech lab. Oh, let's go. Yeah. Ah, shield room. I'm looking for, can we see a shield room? Should be like full of shields on the outside. Oh, uh, shielded room? Nah, that's not it. Chris! Oh, hey! This is the shielded room! Oh, shielded room! Yeah, Yo, come on someone should have told me. Okay, let's go, let's go. Chris, welcome to the shielded room. Well, look, I'm glad I found it, thanks to you. But, sir, I do have one question. It's very serious. Um, is this at least made out of 100% pure shield? Well, it's all metal. In this room, we test our receivers. Okay. Today, I have a VR100 receiver set up and I have that tiny tag and we're going to listen to it pinging. Yeah. It's pinging. That's the tag That's sound. That's a noise. Does it always have to be this close though to hear it? No, this is in air and in an air, I have to touch in water, I, I can be far away. It's a different medium. Once we're done testing in research and development and yep. we're completely happy with the prototype tags, then we're ready to introduce them into production. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Chris, this is Mark. He's one of the supervisors on our transmitter line in production. That's perfect. Look, what does uh, production look like? Then? What are you doing out here? Well, down here we assemble all the components of the transmitter. Chris, do you like sharks? I do like sharks. This is an actual shark tag before it's been completed. So this is what we're going to shark to track them. Any large marine animal. This dolphins? Is the, dolphins? Whales? Of course. Bigger dolphins? Porpoises? <laughs> I heard here there's also a test tank. Is this still a few steps away from there? It is a few steps away, okay. but not, not too far. Hey, uh, excuse me, I I'm looking for a test tank. Am I close? Yo, yeah, yeah, you came to the right place. Oh, this is this it? Is right here. Can you walk me through this process? Absolutely. First, we're gonna activate this tag. Okay. Using the activator here. Put it into the tank and then get taken measurement using our hydrophones. Can I make it go in the tank? Absolutely. What do I do? You push this button right here. Press the, okay, with the arrow? The one, one, the one with the arrow. I'm so excited. Hey. Oh, it's making noise. There is eight hydrophones. Each one of them take a measurement yeah. of the tag that you put in. And that's how you track the fishes. Exactly. All right, so thank you to the Nova Sea team. Thanks to Sarah, and thank you for watching. Hope to Nova Sea, you again.
All right, so to recap, we learned that acoustic fish tags can help ocean researchers understand fish passage patterns, migration, and survival rates. And we learned that I don't really know what a shielded room is. I think I need to read more. Or maybe just watch less Marvel movies? But speaking of continuing to educate ourselves, it's time for you to figure out what you want to do next. Do you want to learn more about it? Or are you ready to try it out? Click below.